What's going on everyone? Today I'd like to do a quick video talking about anger and how to deal with anger and frustration as it arises within oneself. So I'm going to break this down into four pretty simple, pretty straightforward points. I'd like you to try this approach and let me know how it goes for you. Uh, let me know how it works. See if, see if, it, uh, if it helps at all. Uh, I've tried this myself many times and I find it does help create a sense of detachment from the illusory nature of anger. Now this can also work towards uh, other emotions such as fear, jealousy, envy, uh, all these things. You can apply this practice towards those. Uh, if you do so, let me know how that works for you as well. Shoot me a message on any of the socials or comment down below as usual. Uh, so let's get right into this. I'm gonna start with the first approach of, uh, of dealing with anger. So uh, first I'd like you to recognize the anger as it arises. So that is, again, maintaining that background layer, that observer of the angry self. So there's that front layer, that emotional self, that emotional body. So I'd like you to maintain yourself in the background and try to create a little bit of disassociation from that emotional self. I don't want you to get too wrapped up in that self, in that emotion, because it's gonna be very hard for you to approach these next steps. So first step is, Watch the emotion, the, the anger, the rage as it arises within you, but do so from a place of contentment. Do so from a place of the, that is not actually wrapped up in that anger itself, but someone, something that observes the emotional body behaving this way. That's number one. Number two, so it, this also follows with, with what I just said a moment ago. Focus on watching that arise within you. Uh, focus on watching it grow. Okay, so focus on yourself sort of almost as if you're just sitting in an empty space and you're, you're watching this massive cloud of fog sort of just like grow and grow and grow. And I'd like you to, again, focus on being that observer, but I'd like you to also observe, now this sort of falls in and now moves into step three, but as this is happening, as you're watching this fog, this huge, massive, thick cloud of fog, Kind of grow because that's what what happens when you're angry. This you sort of have like this fog over you. It it, it changes your resonating frequency. It, it actually makes you continue. It, it, it's sort of a cyclic nature. You sort of stay in this it's this state because you have this sort of fog. Okay, so I'd like you to observe this fog. Okay, this is sort of part of step two and moving into step three. As this fog continues to grow, I'd like you to observe the emotional body, the emotional self, continuing to feed energy into this illusory uh, fog of rage. Okay, so I'd like you to observe the self feeding into this delusion. Uh, and I'd also like you to observe the fact that the delusion itself and, and, and all that begins to crave. Okay, it almost craves more suffering. You know, this is a very interesting thing about uh, the, the, the nature of uh, humanity and, and the human mind. Your mind will continue to crave this feeling Okay, it's, it's, it's default settings aren't to a place of bliss and, and uh, a harmonious nature in a lot of ways. You're, you're going to want to chase that feeling of, of rage and frustration and you're going to let it perpetuate and it's going to keep growing. That cloud will keep getting bigger. So I'd like you to observe the feeling of wanting to feed into that cloud. I want you to observe the emotional uh, attachment to suffering that you're experiencing. But again, you're still in this background layer. You're still in this background state. So all this chaos is happening, but you're maintaining yourself here because if you, for a second, dip into the chaos, it'll whip you around like a freaking tornado. So you'll get too caught up in it. Okay? You just you want to watch this all taking place. You want to watch this fog, this tornado, whatever's happening. Okay. So from here, this is where this thing is growing to an insurmountable size. It's it's, it's uncomprehensible for you. So you're 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 seeing this rage, this anger, this giant. It's just growing and it's like festering and. And you don't want to touch it because it's just so it's so powerful in, in, in how strong this this uh, emotion is. So, from here, what I'd like you to do is take yourself out somewhere. This is personally what I like to do. Maintain deep breathing exercises. So just take deep, long breaths into the belly. Use your nose. I, I usually recommend uh, breathing through the nose. Uh, it's going to help activate the parasympathetic nervous system which is gonna be much better for controlling the emotion. So as you uh, feel this way, go outside or go somewhere where you can look to 
something which is indifferent to your anger, pain, and suffering. Don't look to other people because other people are emotional beings themselves. And in fact, your energy will now start to sort of uh, perpetuate and project outwards and may affect others around you. So I don't want you to worry about or focus on being around other people. I want you to go to something that's indifferent to your rage, that doesn't care how you feel. So uh, this is where nature plays a really big role. So if you can go out and look at uh, some trees, or uh, for, for me, for instance, I, I saw a butterfly the other day and I just watched it go by and this sort of alleviated the, the frustration that I had arising within me uh, at that time. So I'd like you to try going out to nature. Check out uh, some treetops as they're flowing in the wind. I'd like you to watch how their trunks and roots are unmoved during this time. Okay, as the wind, sort of the chaos of the wind is going around. Move into the feeling of being deeply rooted amongst this chaos. So I want you to focus on the, the roots, the strong root of the tree and, and the trunk and how it's just deeply rooted into the ground. I want you to move into this feeling yourself. Let yourself free of the suffering in this way. You are so deeply rooted like this tree, it will not uproot you. In fact, nothing will uproot you. No suffering, no fear, no anger, anxiety, all these things will not uproot you for your roots, your tree trunk is solid. Now I'd like you to watch the illusory power of your anger dissipate as the winds begin to settle. So if there's a lot of winds blowing around and then they start to settle down, I'd like you to let your Working with your breath, I'd like you to sort of release the anger during this time as the winds begin to settle. You'll notice that the once growing giant of your rage slowly submits to the power of your intention and begins to shrink. So during this time, you're still the observer, you're still in that back layer and you're watching this thing sort of shrinking down slowly. But you're going to notice that's, that's still a craving to feed back into it to help it grow, but you're not, you're not, going, to, you're not going to go into that. You're going to stay focused on the trees, on your deeply rooted branches, on, on your deeply rooted trunk into the earth, and you're going to focus on that. During this time, I'd like you to try reinforcing your willpower by saying, I will no longer suffer. I am at peace. I'd like you to repeat this as many times as needed, and I'd like you to watch the fog begin to dissipate as this is happening. So I'd like you to keep repeating this intention. I will not suffer. I am at peace. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And watch the fog dissipate because it's always a beautiful day. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Try this practice. Let me know how it works for you. And I'll see you in the next.